breaking news. Hawaii Volcano Update Map, which fissures are erupting right now. Latest USGS map, as Kilauea a volcano moves into its seventh week of eruptions, scientists say fissures are oozing molten lava at their hottest levels yet, but which fissures are still erupting and which ones are the most active. The Lower East Drift Zone on Hawaii's Big Island continues to be a bed of scalding rivers and dangerous eruptions. United States Geological Survey USGS, said Fisher 8's fountains reached bursts of 180 feet high within the last 12 hours, while cinder and spate cone around the fissure surged to 170 feet at its highest point. Almost one mile of new land has been created by lava flows to Kapo'o Bay where lava sent crashing into the sea has caused explosions and huge plumes of rising deadly lays. Properties and vacation land have all been destroyed while only a few properties remain standing in Kapoo. More than 600 homes have been lost to lava since eruptions began on May 3. Kilauea's current drain of fury ranks as the United States' worst volcanic episode since Mount Street Helens exploded in Washington state in 1980. Which fissures are erupting right now? Latest USGS map Fisher 8 continues to be the most destructive fissure with molten rivers channeling into several areas at the southeastern tip of Big Island. USGS said eruptions in the Lalania States area continue with little change in its latest update at 10.27 p.m. local time on Friday, June 15, 9.27 MBST on Saturday, June 16. Fishers 16 and 18 are also continuing to ooze burning red rivers. The USGS statement read, This afternoon, lava fountains from Fisher 8 spatter con pulsed to heights of 180 feet at times. Lava continues to flow through the well-established channel to the ocean at Kapoa. Occasionally, lava spills over the channel levees. The ocean entry remain fairly broad with lays blown onshore. Fissures 16 and 18 continue to ooze lava. Fissure 8, the channel, and the ocean entry are relatively stable with only a small amount of expansion at the southern boundary of the flow near the coast and south of vacation land. Elsewhere, a USGS helicopter flight on Friday showed steam emanating from Fissure 24, located southeast of Fissure 8. Officials also said Fissure 9 appeared hotter on Friday and would be closely monitored. As reported by Hawaii News Now. The total flow area now measures 23.9 square kilometers, or 9.2 square miles. One upside has been better technology has enabled volcanologists to predict Kilauea's behavior, protecting people's safety. They've been spot on, said Janine Kripnor, a volcanologist at Concord University in West Virginia. It's incredible, they're looking at things happening below the surface using the monitoring equipment that they have, the knowledge they have of past eruptions, and have been able to get people to not be in a deadly area.